Brock Coke kicking off, saying he can't drive with stupid people, but I have just reiterated that it what had nothing to do with fixing Dragon. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk to Rocco after this. I'll investigate it, of course. I did stream going down. I think that was on my end rather than that. Jacko under the breaking zone. Just tell Rocco to drive. Just tell Rocco to drive. Niels and Jacko are in. And Jacko picks up a five second stop. Could be completely commenting here for the sake of it. But um, yeah, Rocco just needs to drive. Get on with things. It is unfortunate that that has happened. Get I think. I think it's probably more of a net call than anything else. I think the server's really struggling. I'm starting to lag again. Oh, Fidget and Dragon's off! Fidget and Dragon off! Why the deck the war and he's lost the lead! The mean into the lead. This is going to help him with the championship. But with oh, Niels oh, in... Fidget and Dragons just sent one really, really late. Really, really late there. He gives the position back but up quite clean. wisely there. He's just got to calm things down, Fidget and Dragon. He's just got to calm it down. He doesn't want to be going annoyed for... annoyed because Rocco's blaming him and it, in the chat, and I've told Rocco to be quiet Fidget now, and so Dragon down the open. inside. It's, it's a move. It is a move, and he, he is entitled to do it here. Deneen... They're both giving each other oh, too much space. Just a... About, oh, just about. Oh, good drive for Fidgety Dragon there. Got the better run out of the corner, and he's got the lead going into 130R. Only on lap 5 out of 27. This race is going on. This race is going quite long. Here comes Deneen. Deneen oh, on got the back. run out of there, but he eased off down the inside. Get, Get on the brakes. Fidgety Dragon he's aware of him. Doesn't want to be causing another incident. Well, not causing another incident, but neck cordon, certainly. Oh, let's see how that, what if it happens again down here, but there was such down a gap the between Side by the side and behind, still a winner, Mads. Oh, and it's side by side again, Fitchin dragging that down the inside on Deneen. Has got Mads that has into turn one, out. and still a winner has got past Mads as well. Four and he's on the back first. of these two. On the brakes, he's right on the back of Deneen and Fitchin dragging Mads here Mads struggling. Well. Mads struggling, I think, with the overheat of the tyres. Bullboy's up to fifth as well after um, pit stops have been made. Oh, Stephen and Jacko having a fight into the... Chicane. Around the outside. Jack around the outside. He's got to be careful, old Stephen. Yeah, he's got it. Jack's got it. Uh, Jack has got it. Double overtake. Oh, no way. He's going to be boxed in going into no. turn one. He should back off this. He should back off this. He should back off this. He's gone wide. He's done it. Just about. Yeah. That's, he did You're get the car ahead and throws Stephen into the corner. So. What did you say there? Am I lagging? Yeah, and Danina Fidgeting Dragon. Pigeon Dragon keeping the lead, Deneen. Try to get past there. I'm just going to move my PS4 along a little bit. Just you need case. to move it because you're cutting out. You are cutting out. Well, I don't think it's my fault because I think I've had nothing about connection on my end. Stenner Wind's got a great drive out of here. If he tucks right into the, the back of Deneen, Deneen, he's going to get a move done. Closing speed go for it. Down the inside. Runs, it's not going to happen here, surely. Down the inside. Stenner Winner backs off wisely. That's just sitting in behind. Wait, I'm not sure what's going on in the chat. Can you inform me what's going on? Yeah, just Deneen, uh, sorry, Rocco. I said, just, right, just stop and just drive. And he goes, what's the point? I said, okay, so just stop messaging because it's if just Ro a distraction. If Rocco, does, if Rocco does keep on driving, he could pick up points still. That's what you've got to factor in. You can still pick up points, Rocco. Knuckle down. Get catching Richie ahead. I know he's 17 wide. seconds ahead of you, but get on with things and uh, try and get something out of this race. I want to see you come back from this. Mads coming come back on. at them. Oh, Deneen's gone wide. Still winners all over the back of these gearbox now. Jackal getting all out of shapes through the chicane. Niels has gone past him. And Deneen getting a better run for Fidgeting Dragon. This battle for first is just oh. between the three of them. Mads, is, Mads was closing in there. Clawing it back. He is, he's clawing it back. Oh, Deneen on the back of Fidgeting Dragon. Ooh. Oh. Oh. But Deneen's going to lose it. Yellow flag hairpin. sector one. Yeah, it's fine. You, you watch the battle for the lead. I'll check who that was. In fact, I don't even know who that was. It wasn't picked oh, up. Oh, Steven, but I think. Fidgeting Dragon, Deneen, side by side, and Fidgeting Dragon just slots back in front. Yeah, I'm not sure who that was. It might have been. Uh, it's either Stormer or Steven, I think it was. Possibly. 
Not Chiwa, I could be totally making it up. Dene getting a good run on Fidgeting Dragon on the back of him. Gets a Fidgeting bit of Dragon though is, takes it a little bit easier through the corners, but he gets the better run out, and that's what that's what is crucial during this race. About to go on to lap eight out of twenty-seven. Here comes Dene, and is he going to go for a move no, down the inside? He, he, is. Here. he is. Oh, lay on the brakes. Ooh. Yeah, the brakes he, oh, the rear. what? I second... What? He was nowhere near the curb. He cut it slightly for my camera angle, but that not is not to, worth a 10 second, second penalty. time penalty. I, no I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'll investigate after this. I can't really definitively give an answer. There is a yellow Jack flag in second two. I think is Jacko. It was, yeah. He just cut across the uh, inside of the spoon curve. Denny's penalty. I'm happy to have that removed because he did no, not. It needs, uh, it needs investigating. I can't really say definitively what it might have been. Ball boy's on the back of meds now. He is, he's got, starting to get into the rhythm, being a very quiet burner in this race. Needs to set the fastest lap of the race, by the way. The name wide. Oh, oh still a winner win. making a mistake. Still a winner oh. making a mistake. Going briefly onto the grass there. Down into Degna 2. All of this, by the way, um, Rockwell has begun to catch back up. He's going, oh, oh Denis nearly into the back, back. Rockles out. As soon as I said that, commentator's curse, Rockles out. Where did he lose it? Sector 1, I do believe. Who's that? Storm. Storm's had a mistake. Oh, he's Storm's... Oh, that's who's spun in Sector mistake. 1. Oh, Storm's spun in Sector 1, so obviously Rockles crashed in Sector 3 then, if that's the case. Where these guys will be approaching soon. No safety car yet, or virtual safety car. I think it's through 130R. If I've got a pinpoint of place it'll be through 130R either on the left or the right hand side here. Just going on with Fidgeting Dragon. Oh, greens. His car's been removed I think. That's quick. Unless he's hit the pit wall coming in. Or, or... Maybe. Let's have a look. No. There's no debris either. Maybe it's Ooh, just a Fidgeting Dragon. Oh my goodness me. Nearly losing control of the car in front. Ball boy's on the back of Mads, here we go, ball boy on the back of Mads, going down the inside into turn side one, side. he's got the car ahead. Mads backed up Done. quite wisely Good and ball boy up to fourth, quite easy there. Mads here just trying to hold it, hold it steady, keep it steady, sorry. And he's uh, trying to go one stop. As he can here. Yeah, he's trying to go one stop, S boy as well, starting from second down into sixth now. Apart from the little bit of uh, things I've been going on with Rockle, just tell Rockle I'll message him after this race and we'll have a chat, a private chat about he's it. He's not replying anymore, so the chat's quiet. I'm not going to continue okay. the chat. Whilst it's Still want to get in a better one out compared to Deneen, who made a slight mistake through there. Storms into the pit, I think, to repair his front wing damage. I think he might be coming out of here of Richie. In fact, he's not. Oh, still a winner, nearly getting a lock up there. He's got the top three seem to be as quick um, as each other right now. Is it me or is the rain easy enough? Nope. It's you. Uh, it might be my eyes then. <laughs> this me. But this battle for the lead has just been constant pretty much from the get-go. Deneen just tapping the back end of Fijin Dragon. Fijin Dragon losing control. Still a winner very close. Can he get the move done here on the run down towards 130R? He has surely got to back off. He's going ahead. He's in ahead into the corner. He's ahead. He Still backs off. Yeah, he, he got on the grass, and that's quite wise to back off there, to be honest. <gasps> Lock up. He's locked up. Oh, Dragon. Dragon sideways. Oh. Yo, Anybody going to pet these here, conditions? Dineen. They're going to have to red flag this race soon. Look at the spray being kicked up, especially from the leader. The red flag isn't a thing. Red flag isn't a thing in this game, is it? Oh, I wish it was. Well, well, I wish it wasn't because of this battle, but I wish it was because of the conditions. Still a winner! Oh, now, me. taking a very careful and pretty much exactly through uh, the same um, fractions. Look through behind the them. Look behind um, them. Look but, behind them. Fidgeting Dragon is holding up a train, I think we can safely say now. Oh, Still a winner. Matt is getting Ball back into this as well. No, I think he's just uh, the gap stabilised between uh, Mads and this. this Are lot. you sure? Yeah. He's Fitchy catching. Wide. He's catching this full group. Oh, Fishing Dragon's wide! Oh, Fishing Dragon's wide. Oh. wide! 
<gasps> rejoin. He rejoins safely. Bye. He's gone wide again. Where's Ball Boy? Ball Boy's going to capitalise on this into the hairpin. He could do. I think he'll back off because of the spray, though. Yeah, he has backed off. All of these little errors that these front four are creating are is getting four. mads back into things here. I wouldn't really four even rule out S Boy. Oh, Stephen, by the way, has pitted. <coughs> four car battle for the lead. This is insane. Still oh, still the winner getting wide at Spoon. Three second oh, time I penalty. Think <clears throat> There's a little bit of time there, Deneen now has got a little bit of a gap, but we can't really say that because he looks vulnerable down the straight and still a winner actually, in fact wow. catching up, and he has got ERS to burn, that is why he is caught up so sudden, Ball Boy picks up a 3 second time penalty. That's the difference, Deneen's running a, a race set up, and still a winner's running a uh, qualifying, qualifying set up, actually a bad idea. Any leaders coming in, no, straights. Billy. Three second time penalty, but running in the points. They're going for the move for the lead now. Still a winner around the outside of turn one. He's got it down the straight. He's got the car ahead and he's got it done. Still a winner has got that move done. I think Ball Boy might have made a bit of a mistake in behind because he's just dropped off by about a second. Yeah. Oh, Pigeon well, Dragon now struggling. Pigeon Dragon struggling to keep those tie attempts, I think. Yeah, he's taking all the wrong lines through here. Essentially, we've got two real races going on. This battle for the lead, possibly between the top six soon. And then we've got Niels leading the best of the rest. With Jacko still going around in eighth, having a very quiet race. And everyone, in fact, from seventh down to twelfth, having a very, very quiet race. And of course, if you have got any inv incidents to, uh, that you want investigating, please investigate them. I will certainly investigate that incident with Richie. Um on off the start so I didn't see him spin round I think he just got caught in that bit of a sandwich essentially he was the filling in between the bread if that even makes sense no it's the filling in the sandwich you idiot filling in the, yeah the filling in between the bread yeah that's what I'm saying been in the sandwich yeah yeah but it's it's got to be the sandwich Yellow oh, yellow flag sector three. three. It's not That's, one of the oh, top Steven. six. I'm sorry, Stephen making a mistake on the final corner. When I say the final corner, the final final corner. Yeah, he's got caught in the kink, I think, in the pit wall. Oh, heavy rain down at turn one, James. Heavy rain. In fact, heavy rain all around. I can see it. it heavy, makes heavy the rain at the like track. Heavy rain across the track. Yeah. It's almost as if somebody has put a wet Japanese dog out on the track. No, but the thing is, you can see, you can see the darkness in the cloud. Ball boy on Fitchin Dragon. That was Fitchin. very close. Fitchin very Dragon, close. I think, getting all out of shape there. He's lost more time to Deneen, to Deneen and still winner. Yeah, S4 is getting on the back end of Mads as well. That's true. That could be something to entail. Se well, three separate battles really going on. We've got the battle for the lead, the battle for third, and the battle for fifth. Perfect scenario if you're in our shoes at the minute. Or slippers, as in my case. You wear slippers? Yes, I do. You <laughs> old, old man. Oh, and um, Mad's getting caught wide at deck the one. Just losing a little bit of time there. I thought it was him going wide. I think that was just my eyesight really kicking in. It just went slightly wide, but he did gain a little bit of time there on Ball Boy. But only by, like... Uh, hundredths rather than tenths. We'll go around. Shame that Rockwell has crashed out the race, of course. I will, oh, Stevens of course. is off. Oh, Stevens is off. Oh, dear. That's at 130i. He's got to be wary because the leaders are about to come through that. Oh, yeah, Ball Boy's right on the back of Fitching Dragon. Sorry to cut in. Ball Boy's right on the back of Fitching Dragon. Yeah. Possibly line up and move into 130 yards. Oh, just keeping control of the car nicely there. Gonna point out if O Stevens has a. He's gonna get switched back. Ball boy's gonna get switched back. Sorry to put in again. Oh, nearly, really close the pit wall there. Yellow flag in sector two. Is that Billy? It's Billy that's round, and he's out the race. Oh, ball boy down the inside of Fitchin and Dragon at turn two. What a move that is! The gap, like the parting in the Red Sea. What an absolute brilliant opportunistic move that was by Ball Boy. The gap 
was literally millimetres away from contact. Ball boy really sees it up the inside. That possibly is one of the best moves I've seen all season, regardless of A-League or B-League. That was brave. That was bold. It paid off. Ball boy's up the third. Brilliant move. I missed that, but it sounds like it must have been a good one. Oh, really? Fidgeting Dragon went wide, tried to come across. He saw the gap just open up down the inside at turn Magic two. Magic wide. Here comes this boy. Oh, yeah, this boy. No, he's Not backing quite, off in yeah. the conditions, I think. Mads has run wide, though. Mads has gone off in the gravel. And that. I knew that was coming. But Mads actually getting a better run out there compared to S-Boy, oh, even though he we went wide. How did, we missed the Billy's out. Yeah, Billy's out. Um, he must have spun through sector one, I think it was, or sector two, one of the two. I only two. noticed that because he has commented saying people are trying to race, so I don't know if he got distracted by Rocco's messages, which wouldn't if, surprise me. If, if you just put in the chat, um, I'll discuss it with my oh, Stephen's off rest. again. Oh, Stephen's off again, right in front of the leader. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there he is. Still a winner now, and... beginning to pull away. Oh, no. Oh getting in the way a little bit. Oh, Stevens. Oh, Deneen's in. Deneen's in. Deneen's in. Ball boy's in. They're going to be going for West. Fidgeon Dragon. Dragon's in as well. I think he's nearly spread into the pits there. Oh. Fifth yeah, and sixth not pitting. Ball boy there. He's yeah, gained a lot of time with Ball Boy on the entry. Yeah, just to come in though on that. Fifth and sixth, however, are not pitting. Or oh, now second and third. That's Boy and Mads. Not pitting. Ah, uh, Ball Boy has done him in the pits. So, who was the other one in the pits? Deneen. Deneen's got full wing damage. I think Deneen's that's why. Out. There's Niels. Oh, well. Niels can't go to He's the end on those tyres. Surely not. Between. Niels can't. Niels has got a pit. Oh, Stephen's out. Oh, yeah. He's crashed, I think. Uh, that's probably Degna 1 if I was to pinpoint a place. I think Stinner Winner's got a whole pit stop here in front of them. I honestly uh, do. I don't know. I think he's gained yeah, on oh, this Yeah, oh, there's uh, old Stephen off the right-hand side of the track, just going involved with the Neils there. Well, the battles continue. This has been a real intriguing race so far. Apart from the just the little odd errors and odd unclean racing this has probably one of been one of the best wet races i've seen certainly for quite a while i love this race i wish that the battles could have gone on a little bit longer before the pit stops and i wish i wish seen... nobody crashed early on yeah that's true but i think rocco would have stolen the win which would have sort of put I... a downer on this battle now you you've got a pinpoint he was only a tenth ahead when that incident happened Deneen... Deneen, sorry, he's on the back of Fidgeting Dragon. Let's just comment on this. Um, Deneen, on the back of Fidgeting Dragon. Best boy pits. Oh, trying to go Deneen's switch go back through 130R. Yeah, he's just backed off, though, with these conditions. Worsening conditions, I may add, as well. Still, the winner's just lost his his, uh, his win so far, I think, here, James. Because he stayed out. Oh, Deneen. Oh, just losing a little bit of control through the final kink there. S-Boy well, is out. coming out behind these. He's coming out right yeah, behind these. Yeah. I think that's ideal for him because Niels is going to hold these guys up. He's probably going to have to pit again. Yeah, S-Boy is here. a big advantage here. Niels is not helping himself here by holding these guys up because the more he holds these guys up, the closer Deneen and... Uh, sorry, the closer s is going to get. Yeah, well Fidget Dragon is Deneen. Jackal, oh, really? Jackal's on 10 lap all we about on lap there. Same strategy as Neil's, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, okay. So yeah, either wall, regardless. Oh, Deneen's is... made a mistake, I think. Just lost sure. two tenths to Fidgeting Dragon, yeah. Coming out of the hill section. Just before Deck here the comes Deneen. Deneen was in With a lot of gear here. Fidgeting Dragon defends the inside line. Deneen's going to try and go switch back, but Fidgeting Dragon literally hugging that inside. Yeah. Didn't want to let that up, given what uh, um, happened to him with Ball Boy. However, I think this race is just about to hot up even more. Ball Boy potentially Still could be in this. One lap too late. I think two laps too late. Mads is doing a good job here, actually. Oh, he's going to come in this lap. 
for sure. Just by the way he's come through there. Yep, he'll be straight into the pits. Or not. That's, um... Stinner Winner's got a penalty. Stinner Winner had a penalty. He just served yeah, the penalty. Yeah, five seconds stop, girl. <coughs> oh, he's definitely lost the lead here, then. And again... When, oh, no. Where's he going to come that out? Lag. Where's he going to come out, though, in relevance to these guys? With ball boy. There he is at the end of the pits ball lane. Ball He's going to be coming out behind Niels. He's going to be in front of Fidgeting Dragon, I think, here. Yep. Oh! Did you see him there? He's just cut the uh, white line. Did he get penalised for it? I don't think so. I'll just check race director quickly. Um, he got a warning. He's got a warning for it. Sorry. So as long as the penalty... The, as long as the, uh, the, the game gave him something there, um, that's fair. I think we're about to see Storm uh -oh. fresh out of this race, you know? Storm? Yeah, he's at the back, but I mean, if he does retire, he's I mean, he's really going to get a point. On a really weird line coming through just before one. But, no, he's got two guys ahead that's going to pit, though. Jack or Richie. He could be on for eighth, potentially, I'm not sure. No, Richie pitted really early. Richie running a Mika Hakkinen style helmet there, actually. Oh, Deneen down the inside of the Gin and Dragon at the hairpin, trying to go for an opportunistic move. Didn't quite work. I think going into the corner, he just lost control of the car, and again he's losing control of the car. And I'm speaking of losing control of the car, Fidget in Dragons dropped off Stinner winner quite tamely, actually. Right, Mads needs. Where's Mads Pitt? No. He's on he's doing a good 16 job. lap all wet. No, nah, he's losing too much time. He needs to pit. Yep, there we go. And he's in. He's heard you. That's, uh, that's, that's a couple of laps too late, if you ask me. He's going to be out ahead of Jacko quite comfortably, though. And I mean, like... Oh, battle in the background. Points. What was that battle in the background? Stood a winner on Niels. Oh, yeah, is he going around the outside? Switch he's back. to the inside. Oh, no. Still a winner knowing his limits, I think. He didn't want to try and go for the move in case there was any contact. He probably was. He probably saw that Rocco incident with Fidget and Dragon and thinking, just want to take a bit easier. Still a winner having a mare. 17 out of 27. Ball Boy leads this race on fresher tyres. He's got a three-second gap technically to still a winner. Niels probably has to piss again. Ball Boy at the minute has got the race win possibly in the bag and of course he won in Singapore remember I do believe as well oh Deneen's on the grass Deneen's on the grass really rare mistake to make I saw that Fitchin Dragon was going pretty much nearly off same line compared to him Deneen's gone miles wide onto the grass Strange one on me, he must have lost control of the car under braking, which is not uncommon compared to... Uh... Is Ball Boy going to get to the end here, do you think? Yeah. He's got a good strategy here. Four, 14 laps? Yeah, he'll make it quite easily. 14 laps? It's 10 laps. Yeah, but when he gets to the end, it'll be about 14 laps. Ah. Deneen, oh, getting on the back does. end of Fidgeting Dragon. Neil's in nearly into the pit wall there. Again with Fidgeting Dragon. Deneen just losing control of the car. He's just got to try and maintain the tyres going Paul through Russell. that little kink. Well, Tor Russell's got great speed down the straight. But nothing in the corner to that. Deneen taking it easily. Still a winner all over the back end. Is Ball Boy struggling out in front? That gap is coming down. Mm -hmm. That gap has really come down. Niels will have to pit, obviously, though. So he's going to be out of place and probably in between Mad and Jacko, I would think, or maybe even behind Jacko. No, Richie, be Richie has uh, pit, by the way. We've missed that. Richie has pit. Storming out to ninth. Should get those to the end, I think. Two-thirds distance, 66% 66 through. In the trace, Deneen. Oh, I thought, again, oh, is he going to go around the outside of the hairpin? Surely not! Surely not! He's going for the switch back. Oh, no. Didn't work. He's trying to... He's just holding Fidgeting Dragon up here, which is, uh... Ooh, 
Oh, oh. What was that? I saw a twitch from Fidget. Ten for a twitch, I think, there. He's right on Got the back of him. Here. He's on that throttle. He's just getting caught in the dirty air, though. He can't really commit for the move because of that he dirty can't do air. He straights. He cannot do anything on the straights. Look at that. That's yeah, he's, no gaining, he's, gaining, he's gaining. He's gaining. He's gaining. He's gaining. But it's too late because the time runs out from the... Trying to get the move done. Richie um, Storm, sorry, picks up a three seconds arm penalty. Finston Dragon is just parking the bus right now. Ball Boy Finston has got Dragon. the fastest lap of the race there, so he's not making any uh, mistakes on this lap. Neil's just doing phenomenal in second without pitting yet. Neil's trying to keep up to Ball Boy as well, actually. Gap just maintaining around two seconds. Still a winner on fresher tyres. He thinks he's getting held up, and I gotta say I agree because I think still a winner. Once he's free, he's gonna win this race. Sorry to say the ball boy, but I and think Neil's still a winner. I'm pretty sure Neil's is running around with damage actually. Yeah, we no. we spoke about early on. Um, right on Emplet. He's not got that damage now though. He must have pitted. Very he strange. Has. Nils has pitted. Nils has pitted. Oh, sorry if you saw a blue screen on your streams there. I was just checking the controller chart. James, Nils has come into the pit, so he is on the same strategy as this lot. Are you sure? I've got 14 lap all wet on my end. I've got stops one. Yeah, so he's stopped and he's on 14 lap all wets. So oh, he'll be okay. coming into the pit well, pretty soon. In fact, he's done a good job. If he's come in. Had his damage fixed. He's holding up still a winner. Still a winner's looking for the move here. Damn the inside of 130 oh, again, once again, not committing it. There's a yellow flag in sector oh, one. I think Richie it's Richie. Off. Was just going by the timing screens and was thinking, oh, he's not going to close down. Deneen closing down, nearly tapping the back end of Virginia Dragon going through the chicane there. Oh, up 21 out of Ball 27. Ball boy leads. Sorry, lap 20 out of 27. I'm getting carried away here. Oh boy, leads Neil, still a winner, closing up into turn one. Oh, is he going to try and do a ball boy down the inside? No, he's not. Could have went for a similar move to ball boy did on uh, Pitching Dragon, of course, earlier on in the race. For those people watching, uh, what's your race been like? Because what, what's the viewing been like? Because I think it's been such a good race for B-League and for 13 drivers competing. To the outside um, of uh, oh, I thought it was Deneen. Uh, yeah, I honestly thought Deneen was going to go gonna for that. that. Ooh, he's getting, oh, he's getting. Oh, he's made a mistake. Yeah, that's um, that's a downforce issue that he's having with this wet setup. So Deneen's got a more understeer, but helps him on Storm's this track. Storm's picked up a 10 second time, but I don't think Storm cares now. He's picked up, I think, three time penalties. To the outside Within, of Deneen, like sector three, back. Storm's out. Just gonna cut on the ball with yeah, Richie. Is that? that is last corner. Where is that? Oh. That's off track. Must That's off track. Oh! Deneen was trying to go for the move on Fitchin Dragon. S4 is on the back. Oh yeah. Magic All of this, Fitchin and Dragon parking the bus, doing the defensive tactic, not working, because oh. S4 now looking seemingly like the quicker driver out of these three. Yeah. Lap 21 out of 27, a better approach. So if anything was to happen to the stream or anything that we experienced with GT Sport, uh, we would obviously count the results from this point onwards. I may just Should confirm right. that. Should be all right. We've continued on after that little stream stream break up earlier on. Oh boy, leads. Neil second. Still a winner though. Run, running in that dirty air. Neil's made I had a twitch there though. Yeah. That's it, all the, the gaps are all spread out now. Except well, for Neil's and except from, except from this three-way battle for fourth. Oh, and that. That's closed back up in the corners. <laughs> I might, see, the gaps might be extending out, but the battles are certainly not over and done with. But Janine again tries to accelerate out the S section. Neil's has gone wide. Neil's, do you know what? Neil's race was pretty much over there. Oh. Neil's race was pretty much over. He did really well. Is still a winner going to line this up? No. Is Deneen going to line this up on Virgin Dragon, actually? Going through the deck the section. 
Better run out, better run out. Here comes Deneen. Graham Yates out of the hairpin for Chin Dragon's got to give him room. He's going to be very late on the brakes, the Irishman. Is it going to go all the way around the outside of the hairpin? No way. On the fresher, no way. fresher tyre. Oh my God, has he just done that? Has he just done that? Yes, he has. But Fishing Dragon's back alongside Dragon. almost. Oh, I think he's just going to slip in now behind him. And Deneen, absolutely brilliant. Don't think it was on the level of commitment of Ball Boy's move, but good nonetheless. Here comes the winner on Mills. Down the inside. Side by side backs up very oh. late in the 130R, almost at the breaking point there. He backed Trying up. Trying to force Mills into a mistake. Very smart uh, tactics being played here. He's going to have to go switch back if he wants to get Mills. This is the time no, he's where he's got to do here. it. He's got him here. The overspeed do of that think? Renault on the, uh, on the red ball. Watch this. Uh, straight running no, out, though. The straight running not. out. Around the outside. He's still he's there. He's committing it. He's committing around the outside. Neil's on the inside as you look. He's but still, still a winner all it. the way around the outside. But Neil's is still there. This is phenomenal the stuff between Neil. the two Dutchmen. This is brilliant. They're this is absolutely side brilliant. Side. And Neil's somehow, somehow hangs on. That was phenomenal driving. That by was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant but driving from the both of them. That battle has cost them. And that battle has cost them the win of the win. Bull boy now, seemingly, I think, has got this. Although having a little bit of a mare there. Um. Deneen obviously got past Fidget and Dragon. S boy's now lining up and yeah, moving Fidget and Dragon. I think I caught Deneen's move. It's right on the outside oh, yeah, of the it hairpin. Outside, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. S boy taking them very easily going to the uh, hairpin. He's done a lap pressure tyres compared to Fidget and Dragon. That might work. There's a yellow flag in Sector 1, Jacko. which is Jacko off. And that is through the S section, so he's clearly lost control of the car. And on 17 lap old wet, I think he's got a pit. He's got Richie, he can pit quite safe and probably still come out ahead. Here comes S Boy on Fidget and Dragon now. Here comes still a winner on Neil. Sorry. Oh. Here comes S Boy, he's going to hang on in there. Just losing, uh, just I think got caught on the uh, his rear wheel on the grass there. Oh, Fidget oh, Dragon's deep, right deep. deep. But S Boy's made a similar mistake and behind, losing control of the car through the chicane. I've never and so still much all even. In a race before, my voice is starting to go. Still a winner. Centre the move down the inside of Neil's, not quite. Bull Boy doing a terrific oh, job, you know but that gap beginning. S Boy was on the inside. S Boy was alongside Fidgeton Dragon in turn one. Fidgeton Dragon boldly held it round the outside. That was brilliant, oh, oh, Julian. Oh, oh, they oh, were oh. literally side by side, wheel to wheel. But Fidgeton Dragon's just got to be aware. He's getting too close to the apexes for my liking, and now S Boy is hunting all over the back Still of him. He wants off. that top five. Still, the went off there. Very wide up at. Um, he hasn't the lost top time. He has not lost. He's only lost about a tenth there. He's very lucky to only lose that. <clears throat> S-Boy, S-Boy taking a much here. quicker line through the Degners. Jackal's in, by the way, he must have heard me. Jackal is in to repair his front wing damage. S-Boy on the, the brakes! Oh, very close yeah, to contact not, there. not getting caught, and he's not going to do a Deneen around the outside there. Just locked up on the braking, I think. That's what um, unsettled the car, and nearly got him into the back end. Ball Boy has gained 11 positions. Richie's just gained a position there. Ball Boy's gained 11. Yeah, Jack Nils has gained 8. Now, Niels has got 4 laps left to hold on to this position. I think he could do it here, because the rate that his tyres are going off, the same rate that Stinner Winner's tyres are going off, these guys are pretty equal on pace at the moment. Guarantee you now, Stinner Winner will go for the move. S-Boy again! <clears throat> side by side with Fidgeton Dragon. He was on the outside that time. Still winner trying to get the run off the corner. The straight is simply going to run out. If, you, if he's within about a tenth and a half, he can get the he's move good. done. But he's not close enough. Or is he? Is he? Down the inside. Still a winner. Neil's just no, closing the door on him. Just about. Good defensive driving there by Neil's. But can still a winner sense that opportunity? Oh. He is smelling blood. He is smelling fresh blood. And now Neil's has got to defend this. What did you just say? Sorry. He's smelling champagne, but I know he's got champagne so far, but he's smelling it on a higher step. 
Keeping an eye on the penalties as well. Sure. Neil's getting very wide there. How on earth is he keeping oh, these tights? Stenner went corner. much quicker through the deck than the one. Now he into deck the two. Corner cutting on? Yeah, yeah, corner cutting is on because uh, obviously we've had strict penalties. Yeah, Dina, so. uh, Deneen, don't forget we need to remove Deneen's penalty at the end of this race. Well, we we don't need to remove it. I'm I will investigate after this and judge it. But I okay. think I know what I'm going to do with it. I oh, I can't oh, really stress. Niels. Oh my god. Oh, that was too oh. way too twitchy through there. Oh. Lap 25 out of 27, possibly one of the longest races of the season in terms of uh, time. But Ball Boy leads from Niels in second, Stinner winner in third. I think that I honestly got. think this is not going to be your top three. I think it is. I think Niels is going to have a puncture. Hell and I. Do you think, I wish I could see his tyre condition. But a puncture in this race, with these conditions, He's on 11 laps, all the tyres, compared to Stin and Winner. And Stin and Winner cannot find a way through. Paul Boy's having now a lonely race out in front. He's just getting six tenths, actually, going through turn one. S Boy losing time to Fidget and Dragon, I think. That gap was closer the last time around. This has been oh, down purely half. epic. Cutting on board with S Boy. He's getting closer through the S section. Pitching Dragon just gonna watch S Boy having a bit of a twitch out there the second uh, at the second left hander through the S section. Pitching Dragon getting caught wide. Doesn't mean to say get the better run out. He's very oh almost sideways there, Fidgeting Dragon. Still a winner's now on the back of Neils. Is that running up the hill? Yes it is. Late! 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 Still a winner late down the inside! Can he? Can he? Can he? Can he? Neils is Neils around Neils the outside. There. They've got to be wary of each other. Neils is on much all the tyres, but He's still a winner! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. He made it stick round the outside. That was Daniel Ricardo esque down the inside there. What a move by still a winner. But as I said, don't forget about Deneen. Because this is not your top three. I can guarantee you this now. Niels' tyres are going to go off. Look at Deneen. Much quicker through there. He's hunting Niels down. He could get second, you know. No, no way. He's going to displace Niels first. Niels is going to put up a hard fight. Oh, Deneen. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> that oh. was way too close. Fidget Dragon, I'm not sure if he cut the corner there! S-Boy nearly in the pit Jack. wall! My God! Jack I nearly had to spin there as well. Hey, Jack, I'm having a bit of a lonely rest, but he's done well, he's in ninth. I think he's kept relatively out of uh, arm's way tonight as well, which is good to see. Just ahead of this lot as well. Penultimate lap of the oh race. Boy, if yeah, if you're just tuning in, by the way, you have missed a hell of a lot. As Deneen has just made a mistake on Niels. If you've just tuned in, you've just tuned in, rewind. You don't need to see what's going on right now. You need to see what has I been going on. I think you do. I think you do, because Deneen's going to have to get past Niels soon. He is going to hunt him down. He's much quicker. Deneen is going to hunt for third. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He makes that mistake. Who? Oh. Deneen's just made a mistake getting caught on the grass there, coming out of the uh, deck of two. To Neil, it's not, he's just lost um, eight tenths. He is getting closer to Neil's, but he's not. This is the top three. This is now the top three. Neil's getting caught very wide at Spoon, trying to manage the tyres through there. He's got to keep those going for another lap. We saw with Montana last night. He was in front by six seconds, seemingly having the race at his mercy, and then a rear right puncture. Oh, it was a rear left puncture, sorry. Rear left puncture. Cost Deneen's him, him back in. a podium. Deneen's got no ABS. On to the final lap. Bull Boy leads the way. Still the winner in second. I think the most interesting battle is going to be for third. Because Esport just losing a little bit more time to Fidgeting Dragon now, I think that might be over and done with. Not real many opportunities to go past. I've removed the display. <laughs> if you remove the display on this one, it makes the last lap look really good, actually. 
Oh, I'd rather have everything up because I've just done that and it looks absolutely strange and bare. Jackal getting a three second time penalty for multiple warnings there. Deneen's all over the back of him going through the S section. Oh, here we go! Oh, Is he going around the outside? Deneen. No way! No way! Is he going to do this? Deneen down the inside of deck the one! Brilliant move! Oh, ha, ha, ha. On the last lap. Wow. I did say, do not rule out Deneen, and that is not your top three. Best boy. Best boy Deneen to the back of the Pitchley Dragon. Oh, some of the racing we have seen has been top quality. Top quality, high class driving from a majority of these the drivers. They may not be the fastest in Billy, but by God. By God, they produce they the action. The they produce the action. If you can keep an eye on Fitching Dragon uh, Fitch, um, S Boy, I will go on board with Ball Boy as he's about to come round the final couple of corners. He's only got the chicane. And uh, S Boy Fitching Dragon side by side. I'm going to have to come on board with Ball Boy because he's going to win this. He is going to win this race. I'm going to quickly jump to Fidgeting Dragon and S Boy after this. Ball Boy wins. Fidgeting Dragon and S Boy. This is not over. Is S Boy going to try and no. see it down the inside late on the brakes? No, yeah, he doesn't try it. it. That's he's sensible. Deneen's got a five-second five stop. Go, yeah. Oh, S boy has made a mistake very late on. That could be costly. Fidgeting Dragon. S boy. No, S boy gets fourth. S boy gets fourth. Fidgeting Dragon fifth. Deneen sixth. Penalties playing a major, major part there. I should have checked the race director. I do apologise if anybody wanted to see that. Mads from pole position, not really uh, bringing it into the race, but he has finished seventh here, Mads. Not bad performance. Still winner. Still winner. What? <laughs> what? Three one and pole position a winner. I'm not. I've I've got to commentate on these other two guys that are still coming around. So when there's seven ball way around the track, it's like. Richie, however, is uh, coming up towards 130R. Jackal doesn't care now. Five seconds stop go. He might get disqualified at this rate. Richie, though, is going to finish in eighth place. Billy has just left the session, but Richie is coming around the final corners now. Relatively okay debut. I don't think he would have appreciated some of the contact they had early on, but Richie across the line in eighth, anyways. Jackal has run out of fuel. <coughs> Jackal has run out of fuel. We're going to have to look at Deneen's 10 second penalty actually because that's what's affected the, the uh, standings. Yeah, but you got but a 5 second stop him. go at the end though. So that's the equivalent of 30 seconds, isn't it? No. Uh, 13 seconds, that'll be 8 seconds. We had a 10 second penalty. Jackal's coming into the pit, I think quite wisely to get this rest done. <coughs> Jackal coming across the line. Oh, he's crashing the plasticine. Ah, uh, the, the polystyrene boards. <laughs> Need to say plasticine there. Jackal across the line, though, in ninth place. Let me have a look at what's been said in the comments section. Should be a rule about no pulsing during the rest of the puts by drivers off. Well, we've, um, already, we've already discussed this previously. Yeah, I'm, and I will come on to this right after we see the podium celebrations. I'm going to talk about more about the new rules that are going to be enforced for next season. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's kicking off now. It's all kicking off. All kicking off. I'll uh, I'll sort it then, if that's all right. Just leave it. I'll sort yeah. it out. Bobo though wins here in Japan from Stina winner second. Neil's in third, gaining on Deneen in the championship by seven points. I don't think that's good enough though for him to win the title. S Boy has finished in fourth. Fidgin Dragon ran off the top five. Deneen, Mads, Richie, Jacko all finishing. Storm finishing that final point scoring position. Or Stephen Nexus, Billy, and Rocco all out the rest. Sadly, with Rocco crashing out early. 
And of course, all investigation, all incidents will be investigated after this race. <coughs> right, let me just have a check on what is going on. Is our race winner here, Mr. Bullboy57? You are indeed. Hello. I am. Oh my <laughs> goodness me. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Race. That was oh, absolutely dear. brilliant. Uh, you didn't really see many drivers in behind though. Talk us through what happened out there out on track tonight. <clears throat> Well, I mean, um, first of all, the reason why I got disqualified um, was uh, a purposeful tactic because I thought it would be a dry race, so I thought, because I messed up my lap. And I was only, I think I was 10th or 9th at that, play, at that point, so if I finished 11th or, or so, I would have got free, uh, free tyre choice, but I didn't even realise it was the same conditions as uh, the last session. Um, and yeah, I was involved in the four wide going into turn one. Somehow managed to uh, to get away with that without any uh, major contact. Um, but then I got two illegal overtakes, so I had to back off and let people through. So I was down to last again. And yep. um, then coming through Degna, Billy spun right in front of me. And if I were a meter ahead, that would have been it for me. So that was very fortunate that I was able to avoid Billy spin. Um, I know Stephen was actually quite close to me as well, so it was uh, quite a sticky situation. But yeah, after that, um, I think everyone battling out front really made it um, a bit too easy for me. Because <laughs> uh, the only overtake I really did was on uh, Storm, who was struggling a bit. And uh, Jacko, um, who also had front <coughs> damage. But the one move I do remember is uh, on the first, or no, the second corner with uh, Mr. Dragon, I think. Fid yep. Yeah, Fidgeting Dragon. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, I knew he was slower than me because I was uh, catching him in all the places that you expect me to catch him um, when the driver's struggling. But yeah, I was uh, behind him for a couple of laps, could see Mads, you know, catching behind me, so I thought, right, I need to get this move done. Got the move done. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, really, I think Niels uh, won me the race because... I yeah. think Stinner Winner would have caught me, not entirely, but I think he'd catch me by, well, you know, just under that three second margin by uh, the end, that 27, to, um, yeah. to win me the race, because I don't think he had any penalties, so. I think I said. Win, I mean, yeah. yeah, I think I said on lap 20 that Stinner Winner was going to get you if he tried to get past Niels. I don't think he was just over. Cautious, I think, in the conditions. That's why Niels defended so hard, and that's why Niels eventually got third place. I think. Just. Yeah. But I mean, your move on Fidgeting Dragon. What was <laughs> it like? It was like the parting of the Red Sea down the inside. The gap appeared. Probably one of the best moves I've seen, maybe all season. Oh, I thank you very much. <laughs> um, I, honestly, that yeah, was, it was brilliant. Yeah. I knew it was going to close, uh, I knew it was going to get tight, but um, I had to go for it there because I knew that if I did it anywhere else, let's say into the final chicane, the first final chicane, um, he would have known, he would have prepared for that, so um, yeah, you've got to catch them off guard. So I went for a turn two, it worked out pretty well. 
worked out very well indeed. And uh, given that we are next week transferring time zones once again from Japan, this time to America, USA next week, not uh, USA this week, that uh, Neil's thought. Um, but how do you rate your chances around there if you're going to be racing next week? Uh, I've got to go keep it realistic, go for a top five finish. I'll be happy with the podium again. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure if I can pull off a last to first challenged you know, two races in a row because that was, this race was uh, unbelievably good and uh, things just seem to, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah. go really well. So, yeah, um, podium I'd be happy with. By any chance, did you see what happened with Richie? going down the straight on lap one. Like, I literally at the start. Did, I did record my POV, so I'll have a look now. Um, Good. I caught it on stream in the background, the and it almost looked like he got sandwiched between, I think it was Storm and old Steven, <laughs> I believe. I think it might be them two. I'm not sure. I will have to go back. If it's, if it's not used, then I apologise in advance. Just having a look. So Richie was quite slow, so I pulled over to the right because there's space with the pit exit line. And uh, one, two, three, four, and it was actually five wide. Five I think. wide. Yeah. Five yeah. So somebody got, was on the was left, the really far distance. left of track, and then there was three cars in the middle, and then I think there was you on the right hand side. Yeah, I was. Yeah, the closing speed. I was much quicker for some reason. Me and. Uh, Oh, Stephen, were a lot quicker, so we just slotted in, and <coughs> yeah, there's there's grass. So I think, my... yeah. uh, I think with yeah. but people might say, and I know they've said in the past that you're too quick for B League. This race, and I think in Singapore as well, <laughs> uh, yeah. it proves that that is not the case. You are perfectly fitted in because these guys have improved this season. Yeah, they, they certainly have, um, and it's great to see because the competition today was uh, unbelievably good. So hopefully that rolls on to the next uh, four races, and uh, yeah. Yeah, go on to the next couple of races, and that is the end of the interviews, the one interview that we've done. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's move on to a bit of housekeeping. Of course, we've got GT Sport tomorrow, GT3s. Um, mm -hmm. Just to update Elliot, by the way, on that guy that was interested. He can't do Sundays. Oh, well. Sadly. But I've promised <laughs> I will find him a GT Sport League. I even suggested about finding uh, the FRL GT Sport League. He can't do Wednesdays either. So... Which is a shame. But, yeah, GT3 is tomorrow. I will be sending out early tomorrow a reminder to everyone that we are going to be racing. It is Red Bull Ring for anybody that is tuning in. A wild Welshman has joined us. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, but um, GT Sport is on tomorrow, obviously. Pro am at six o'clock. Pro at seven. All being well, I should be streaming once again. Uh, might have our Welsh commentator back, Thomas. Um, he's only appeared once, I think, this season. In the main championship, anyways. And as you can probably hear, Elliot F6 is on there. Uh, GC Sport in the background. <clears throat> right. What is that me? Was the um, next week as well. It is going to be the TFRL Classic R League. Yes, the TFRL Classic R League is here finally. There's going to be two social races next week. Um, Tuesday, 7 p.m. There is going to be a social race around Canada in the Williams 92 and on Thursday at 7 p.m. there's going to be a social race around Russia in the Ferrari 04. So that is what you need to know about the Classic Car League and then we're hoping to get started the following Tuesday. I don't want to be a uh, host of this lobby, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to be happening for the Classic Car League. And to give you a bit of an update on the F1 side of things, um, what our plan is at the minute is to open up sign-ups on Monday. If it doesn't open on Monday, it'll probably be at some point during the week. 
But these signups are going to be, um, it's going to be a proper sign up form. So we're trying to get jump ahead here with the sign ups, get them in early. Control the B League chat. You need to you need to end this and control the B League chat. Why? What's going on? I think purely it was down to the net code and to the state of the game once again and if that is the case then sadly there's nothing that can be done about it. There will be a full investigation into it. Um, I am going to be appointing a couple of new admins as well just to uh, free up the load a little bit on both F1 and GT Sports sites as well. Um, but these are going to be confirmed in due course. I will go under the uh, recruitment process, of course, and pick the right people for the right role. Um, but I think, unless anybody else wants to add anything, I think we're done. I just can't wait for tomorrow. Yep, GT Sport tomorrow. So tune in from 6 p.m. UK time. We should be live a little bit earlier than that. So set your watches for about 5 to, I would say. Um, don't, but, don't worry, everyone. My connection was much stronger than it has been. Well, make sure you run 5G tomorrow night and we should be fine. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye. <coughs> Dimmin' hell.